There are currently no effective therapies for Alzheimer's disease. As lifespans increase and our population ages, Alzheimer's represents a looming public health problem of immense proportions. One that is also personal. One in three adults in the United States will die from Alzheimer's or age-related dementia, touching almost everyone as a patient or a caregiver. There are now 46 million people with Alzheimer's disease worldwide. The total societal costs associated with dementia will reach $2 trillion by 2030. Alzheimer's expenses are the greatest direct health care cost to the United States economy, greater than cancer and heart disease. New approaches to treat and reverse Alzheimer's disease are needed. Recent studies suggest that Alzheimer's disease disrupts brain signaling and how neurons synchronize. This specific type of neuron synchrony, altered in Alzheimer's disease, is called the gamma rhythm. Sensory information from our environment is critical to how the brain synchronizes and communicates, which aids in our ability to remember loved ones' names, recall what we did last week, and to pay attention to where we put our car keys. Altered gamma rhythms in Alzheimer's disease are due in part to the toxic accumulation of a SNPT protein called amyloid beta, resulting in fewer neurons firing in synchrony. Research from the lab of director Li Wei Tsai of the Pickhour Institute for Learning and Memory at MIT has sought to understand how Alzheimer's disease affects gamma rhythms in the brain under the premise that abnormal neuronal firing populations play a key role in the symptoms of the disease. First, Dr. Tsai's team established that the gamma rhythm amplitude at the 40 Hz range was reduced in mice with Alzheimer's disease, called 5X FAD mice. More specifically, the gamma rhythm was significantly decreased in a brain region crucial for learning and memory, the hippocampus. The diminished gamma rhythm in 5X FAD mice occurred with the accumulation of amyloid beta, which eventually becomes toxic and results in neuronal death and memory loss. Next, researchers in her lab used optogenetics to artificially correct the gamma rhythm in the hippocampus of 5X FAD Alzheimer's mice. By stimulating neurons in the 40 Hz range at the optimal gamma rhythm amplitude, Dr. Tsai's lab showed that amyloid beta levels were cut nearly in half. Dr. Tsai's team discovered that the 40 Hz optogenetic stimulation to correct the gamma rhythm in Alzheimer's mice activated genes in brain cells called microglia. Microglia are part of the brain's immune system and function, in part, to ingest or clear away microorganisms that might cause disease. Optogenetic stimulation at the 40 Hz range activated microglia to promote the clearance of amyloid beta. To create an effective treatment in humans with Alzheimer's disease, it's ideal to invent a non-invasive technique. To this end, Li Hui Tsai and her team created a sensory paradigm that uses flickering light to restore the gamma rhythm and to reduce the levels of amyloid beta. 5X FAD Alzheimer's mice were exposed to 40 Hz flickering light, which caused enhanced gamma rhythm neuronal activity and reduced amyloid beta levels by over 50% in the visual cortex. In addition, the 40 Hz flickering light treatment caused microglia in Alzheimer's mice to become more active and dramatically increase in size by engulfing amyloid beta. When the gamma flickering light treatment was used in older Alzheimer's mice with toxic levels of amyloid beta, which results in aggregates called plaques, the plaques decreased. However, for the plaque levels to remain low, the flickering light treatment had to be given over several days versus hours. This unique, non-invasive approach might lead to the development of treatments that can affect the disease without the current pharmacological challenges of the blood-brain barrier or unexpected drug interactions. This technique is a big step in finding new and effective treatments for Alzheimer's disease that one day may halt and reverse the symptoms of a disease that impacts so many of us.